All right, guys, I'm super excited. As you can see, I am officially wearing the new hoodie. It is amazing. I love it. I got my crest on the top there. Got the puck stops here on the sleeves. They look fantastic. Rebirth did an amazing job. I was so excited. I actually got two for myself. So there's the front and there's the back. So if you guys got one, I have mailed them out. So you should be getting it sometime this week. Um, and yeah, if you guys didn't get one, I am so sorry that you cannot order one right now. The only way I can get these made is if I do a bulk order. So I can't just do one off like orders because they are custom, especially if you put your name and the number on the back. But all of it, like, I don't know if you could see the detail, but it is like stitched, like it's legit. This is all like patches that they've made custom. Like all of it is really, really high quality. That's why I was very like stressing to you guys if you wanted one, you had to order it when they were available because now you cannot order one until I do one of these drops again. But I just want to let everybody know who ordered one, you should be getting yours this week. So make sure to check your mailbox and if you didn't get one and next time I'm doing a drop and you see it now, what it looks like in person and you want one, make sure you get one because you're gonna regret it because this thing is amazing, it's super soft, really warm, and I know it's summertime and it's a hoodie, but it is totally, totally worth it. I don't care if I'm sweating, I'm gonna be wearing this like every single day. So, I'm super excited, and uh, yeah, hopefully if you guys got one, you're just as excited as I am. So anyways, if you do not wanna miss out on the next sale that I do, make sure you turn on that notification bell. Hit it so you don't miss out because I only had this out for one week because I needed to get the orders in. So if you missed it, I'm extremely sorry, but please hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. All right guys, enjoy the game. All right guys, welcome to, I think this is game six. We are very short bench, only six guys tonight. And from what it looks like so far, we're playing a pretty good team. Alright, so on that goal there, I got caught cheating to my right side. I didn't expect him to get a backhander off, and he just got me. He beat me far side. So in order to stop that, you just want to be more square to the puck. Don't assume where they're going to go, and if they have a backhand, don't assume that they're going to not shoot, because they could. So the moral of the story, just always be prepared and always be squared. Nice goal. Oh, I thought we got another one right there. Yeah, nice! So on that one there, I went from behind the net to out front, the guy turned around and ripped it. Um, I came out to play big, but I don't think I played square enough. Yeah. So uh, Josh just got, he broke his favorite stick of three years. And they don't make it anymore, so he's trying a new stick tonight. Seems to be working pretty well for him. One of you. Good work, good work, boys. Good work. Oh my gosh. I think his stick came with a string or something. So that was a very good first period. My team uh, definitely played really well, but we got two more full periods to go. So hopefully they can keep their energy up, maybe get a couple more goals, just because that's what's going to help us in the third period. We need goals. Oh. So on that goal there, I saw that he was passing it. I could have came out and actually intercepted the pass, but I thought I'd play it safe by going to the butterfly and hopefully covering up the bottom of the net. It was a good play on their part. Those are tough ones to stop. Yeah. 
No way. That that good goal for us. Bad goal for them. All right, guys, upon further review of this goal, I actually let the puck in because I didn't have my right arm against my body. So that's my blocker hand. When you guys are going to make a blocking style save, you wanna make sure that your arms are in tight so that you don't let the puck in. As you'll see, it goes through my arm, hits the post and goes in. So make sure you keep those arms tight against your body to prevent goals like this. Alright guys, so my helmet cam actually died in this period, so I'm going to record the rest of the like reviews like this. So basically in this one, you'll see that I actually get square to the shooter, not the puck, which is why he has like an open net over my glove and that's why he put it in. Also, I don't think my glove was far enough forward, so make sure that you're always square to the puck, not the shooter, and have your gloves always out in front of you. All right, guys, so on this goal here, pretty obvious mistake. I went to the VH when I should have been at the top of my crease and played the butterfly. I would have had a way better chance of stopping this puck, especially because I've already made this mistake in this game. So if you feel like you're in the same situation, don't go right into the VH or especially the RVH in this situation. Play big, play square, and use your butterfly.
Good game. Good game, man. Good game. Good game, boys. Good game. Good game. All right, guys. So the final score, I guess, technically was nine to eight because we won in a shootout by one goal. Unfortunately, I think both my helmet cam and the camera behind the other goalie's net uh, both died and the memory cards got full. But luckily, this camera got my side, so you got to see the saves in the shootout. Overall, it was a great game. I could have made more of those saves, but what are you going to do? Not bad for a short bench. If you like that game, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next week.